Hey, what's going on guys? Well, just want to do a uh, quick video on a couple random things from uh, County Com that I've had for a while. I've had these for probably four months maybe, in and around. Um, EDC this pouch a little bit, didn't EDC the, um, the tweezers at all, but use them around the house. Uh, so just a couple odds and ends, just, you know, group these together because I didn't want to make individual videos on or anything, but I didn't want to mention them because I thought they were pretty cool. First off is the tweezers, these um, titanium colored tweezers, they don't have these anymore. I don't know if they sold out or what, but they do uh, have a giant pair. It's the XLs, and uh, I like these because of the fact that they're so small, and I would throw these on the keys if I didn't have other tools on there right now. It's starting to bulk back up a little bit. Um, but obviously, you can see there's a, a spot here you can throw a split ring on there if you wanted to to put them on your keys. It did come with this O-ring on here, but it's not necessary. Like If you look at how closed these are, it's not completely closed, but it's not open either. But when I remove the O-ring, it doesn't change anything. So I kept it on there just to show you <laughs> that it comes with one. You can use that on your knives if you want. But um, it's not necessary. If you want to use a smaller O-ring to keep that pin shut completely, I guess you could. And the only reason, I guess, behind that would be if it was dangling from your keys and it's caught on something, it could stretch it open wider. But I don't think it's that big of a concern. But there are some ridges cut in here, okay, for grip, which work very, very well. But what I like about these tweezers so much is that they are perfectly fitted to each other. In other words, you can grab tiny little hairs and stuff and, and really just pinch the tiniest of, uh, of things. Um, they just have a great lineup, if that makes sense. I talk about this uh, sometimes with multi-tools, especially, well obviously with um, you know tweezers and multi-tools, but that's kind of rare. Uh, more so with the, the teeth on the, uh, the actual head of pliers. You know, when the teeth on pliers don't line up, you don't really get a great grip on it. And that could be the difference between a, a cheap pair and a very high quality pair of multi-tools uh, or tweezers, same deal, is that you have a good fitment, okay? So basically I can pinch and grab whatever I need. All right, if I grab a hair on my hand here, I mean it grabs every single time, okay? And it grabs it very strongly. And yes, Al, that hurt. Um, but I can't say the same for other tweezers. I mean, if you go get dollar store tweezers, you know, or even actually there's some more expensive brands uh, of tweezers that I've used before and it looks like it lines up it looks like it'd be fine but you go to try to grab something and pull it out you know and it just doesn't grip you know specifically with hair you know if you're trying to grab a hair and you pull out it, it just slides right out because I don't know why I have some gene in my family I get real like crazy wild random eyebrow hairs <laughs> so like I'll have you know regular eyebrows obviously but I'll have one eyebrow hair that's just really gung-ho and decides to be you know a half a foot long so I have to tweeze those occasionally, right? So I don't look like I'm crazy. But uh, with other tweezers, I, I have, like I said, I've gone through probably a dozen pairs in my lifetime. Um, they just don't grab at all. You know, I'm like, all right, and I toss them, I try to get a new pair, and it's just the same deal. But these just have a great fitment. Basically what I'm getting to with that. But uh, yeah, I like these. Unfortunately, they don't have the small ones. I don't think anymore. I mean, you can check the site, but last time I checked, I didn't see them on there. But they do have an XL version, and it's like six inches long. However, it still tapers down pretty pretty small. I don't know if it's as small as this, but you know, in the pictures they show it, you know, holding different little gears and stuff for watches. So it does taper down quite a bit. It just, with the larger size, it gives you more uh, stability in actually holding and using it. But I love the idea of, you know, being so small, obviously for a keychain type tool. Um, as far as this pair of tweezers, standard tweezers, you've seen them forever. It's a military style tweezer. Uh, comes to a nice point here. This does connect nicely, but I don't feel like it grips as good as these. I don't know, it's, let, me, let me zoom in. Like that works fine, but you can see the point of contact is very small. Okay, so unless you're really on the tip there, you're not gonna grab what you're trying to grab, whereas this is flat, but it, it just lines up perfectly. You'll grab every single time. All right, this one, not so much because it is pointed. But that also could be the benefit to these, is that the fact that they are pointed. And speaking of which, I have, just saw that little guy right there. I'm trying to do this through the viewfinder. Very odd, no, my depth perception's wrong. There we go, see, grab that. And the last thing I want to talk about is this little pouch. This is made by Maritac, it's called their Deep Conceal Clip Pouch. And uh, that's what I thought was pretty cool, is that it has that spring steel clip on there. So if you want to use it for a little micro wallet, you can actually clip this to the back pocket, 
case you're worried about it falling out or something. Or if you have a lot of miscellaneous little tools, you don't want to carry them in your keys, you could put them in here. You could put slip joints, any kind of knives that don't have pocket clips or whatever, and you can clip this on the inside of your front pocket. You know, just the, uh, the clip expose. So no one really know what's, what it is. I mean, it doesn't give it away what you have. Um, just a cool little option. And also, if you, you, like me, and you carry tons of different gear, it keeps whatever you have in here from getting scratched. So, you know, if you're looking down at my front right pocket, of course, I always have a Foley knife accessible, but I might have this next to it with some other knives in there that I don't want scratched up, or if you don't want your flashlight scratched up, or whatever kind of gear you're carrying, just, uh, you know, keeps it separate, keeps it protected. So anyway, just some uh, random gear I wanted to mention in case uh, anyone out there was interested. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.